Joseph is uh, the editor-in-chief of Domus Magazine, uh, one of the top architecture publications. He is also the curator of the Istanbul Biennale. Please join me to uh, welcome Joseph. How can the ideas of multiple people and especially end users come together into a built um, uh, architectural artifact. The idea of the designer is somebody who packages a completed product, something that is that can't be taken apart, that simply has to be used as it is. If you're lucky it can be repaired, otherwise maybe it should be thrown out as soon as it's obsolete. These days are over and have been replaced by a completely different idea in which uh, actually imperfection itself is a value, uh, in which the end user is actually someone who uh, is actually going to be engaged in the production of the product perhaps. So the, may, in a way the designer is someone who is not actually going to package a finished object but is actually going to possibly um, package a set of parts. One of the challenges that we're um, trying to get a handle on in Istanbul is actually in this uh, exhibition that we're putting together is how to talk about a condition, uh, uh, how to talk about all of these things less as kind of different fields of design with different disciplines and sustainability and open source and so on and actually to look at design as a key viewpoint into a cultural condition that permeates everyday life. One of the designers that we're working with in Istanbul is called Thomas LeMay who founded a group called Open Structures uh, and his idea was that in a way design should be the process of uh, designing is in a way the creation of a common language and so his his project um, with the Open Structures group was to create a sort of a, a universal an Esperanto for objects so to speak uh, actually by establishing a grid, a, a module, that would allow different people to produce single elements. Actually, none of it was designed by Thomas himself. Uh, all of it was simply coming together uh, parts that were brought together according to this grid that he set up. A really posing question is about the idea of authorship and copyright. How do you protect objects? But more importantly, should you protect objects? Should objects be is it possible today for a designer to base the kind of their own economic model around the economic model that the designer of the 20th century uh, based his work on? Does it make sense? Is the design industry heading towards a situation similar to that of the music industry? Many other fields of design and of urbanism even have developed a lot more um, quickly, have appropriated much more quickly the logic of um, open source uh, production. What does it mean for architecture today? I think that's the big um, question. It's probably the most difficult question because architecture really embodies, uh, it's the most powerful embodiment of this uh, modernist ideal of top-down.